Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Hallie, and I'm going to be doing mono some more monologues. Uh, um, these monologues I'm going to be performing, not this one, but most of them that I'm going to be doing for the next few videos aren't, like, from big movies or TV shows. There are some that are in books that are used for middle school students that, like, some teachers have. Like, I got these from my middle school teacher, Mr. Bess, because he inspired me to do this. He's awesome. Okay. Um, so here we go. Here's Fantasy Land. Um, by the way, I will not know all these titles for the rest of the videos, but okay. So this one's called Fantasy Land. My mom says that I live in Fantasy Land and sometimes I have to agree with her. No matter what book I'm reading, I can't seem to separate myself from the story long enough to come back to the real world. But really, why bother? Look at what the real life has to offer. Last night, our teacher assigned us TV for homework. Lots of kids would think that's cool, but when a teacher assigns you television homework, you can already guess that she's not assigning any interesting late night TV. No, we're supposed to watch the news report and compare the news story with the same story in the newspaper. First, I got out the newspaper. The big front page photo was a massive firing its way through a mobile home park. Another story was about some serial killer and another about this couple that used kitchens to train their dogs to fight. Who are these horrible people? Not even the worst storybook villains do things like that. I want to read that. I don't want to read that stuff. After I turned on the news, it got worse. I heard a report about some kid drowning in her pool during a party. A teacher who got arrested for touching some of his students the wrong way in a horrible accident where this train full of cows hit a school bus stalled on the track. What are these people thinking? The books that I read always end happily, which is the way that world should be. True love always prevails. Anyone that is lost always finds their way home. In some books, the bad guy always gets what he deserves, but the world doesn't seem to work that way. The next day, I flat out told my teacher that the whole assignment made me stick to my son and refused to do it. I offered to do an extra book report to make up for the missing assignments. My friend said I was nuts, but at least I won't have a nightmare. Call me what you want, but I'll take pretend over the real world any day. Okay, thanks for watching. This was Fantasyland. Okay, um, I know that I wasn't that good. Uh, I really had not looked at these before I read them, so I'm just going off of them. Should start doing that, but I like videos, making videos. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that one. That one's a great one for middle school. If you have a monologue assignment, that's a great one to do. Okay, so thanks for watching. Like and subscribe down below. Okay, um, see you next time. Bye.